सब गाइस दिस इज राकेश वंस अगेन वेलकम टू द सेशन ऑफ ओरेकल एसक्यूएल सो गाइस वी आर स्टार्ट वी हैव स्टार्टेड आवर एसक्यूएल सीरीज एंड इन आवर लास्ट टू सेशंस वी हैव अंडरस्टूड दी हाउ टू इंस्टॉल द ओरेकल डेटाबेस एंड हाउ टू इंस्टॉल द एसक्यूएल डेवलपर सो दिस आर द टू टॉपिक्स व्हिच वी हैव डिस्कस इन आवर लास्ट टू सेशन नाउ व्हाट एग्जैक्टली वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन दिस सेशन सो इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस व्हाट आर द डेटा टाइप्स are in the oracle data uh, database and what is the importance where we use all this question i will answer in this session so let's begin with the today session oh one second one second i would like to introduce one more one of my friend uh, which will ask questions on behalf of you can you come chodu hey my name is chodu and i will ask questions on behalf of you so please don't forget to put your questions in the comment box thank you so guys don't forget to give your question in the comment box he will ask on behalf of you okay guys so let's begin with the today session so guys when we talk about the data types then there are four questions comes in mind that is what is data type why we use the data type where we use the data type and what are the types of data type which supports the oracle database correct let's address one by one all these four questions okay so let's begin with the very first question which is what is data type data type is nothing but it impose some rule on a particular column now why we didn't needed the data type because we want to maintain the consistent data in a particular column now you can say that where we use when we create the table at the time we use the data type now you say that i didn't get it man what you have said so let's understand with the help of one example on my whiteboard so let's say for example if you want to create a table in the oracle database with a three column like this like this if you want to create table for example this one name salary and date of birth okay now you want to impose one rule on the name uh, column saying that boss only the character can come in the name column okay because the name can be only a combination of the character in you never ever seen the uh, name with the digit or date or another some uh, another thing correct this can only the combination of the character so what rule you have to impose on this column you have to impose this this rule that saying that the only the character can come in this column for example x y z name rakesh something rakesh or something so it is a combination of character so what i want to impose this rule on the name column saying that the character only can come so how can i impose this rule on this column i can impose this rule with the help of data type and what data type i hope i have to use over here character or where care to or where care and so on i can use so many uh, data types of the character are available which we will discuss later on okay guys so i hope you have understood what is a data type and where we use the data type and what is the importance of the data type now let's say for example one more example which is your salary salary can be only the digits correct can come in the digits no other than digit can come in the salary so what rule i want to impose on the salary salary i want to impose that only the numbers can come 1 2 3 or 200 or 300 like that i want to impose this rule so how can you impose this rule on the salary column so on this salary column you can impose this rule with the help of data type and what data type i have to use over here the number so which will ensure that the only number can come on this uh, salary column now let's say for example in a similar way date of birth if i will apply over here the data type as a date so what it will ensure that the only date can come in this uh, in this uh, column let's say for example 
2018 so this is the date if i will try to insert the some character a or some number 300 it won't allow and it will give error whenever we try to insert such kind of a uh, value in this column or in this uh, uh, field then it will give error so uh, this in short what i can say that if you want to impose some rule on particular column then you have to use the data type and where we use the data type on the column now <coughs> you can say that okay theoretical part i have understood now can you tell me exact and practical example where exactly we will use the data type so we will use the data type when we write a create statement when we write a create statement or i can say that uh, when we create the table uh, at the time we use the data type as you can see over here on the screen i have written one create statement which is responsible to create the table in the oracle database on which i have written the some uh, columns and some data types let's have uh, you can see over here in front of the name i have written the where care to in front of the uh, your salary i have written the a number and in front of the uh, your date of birth i have written the date which will ensure that the the whatever the corresponding or respective uh, data can come in the particular column let's say for example in the name i have written the uh, where care to which ensures that only the character can come in this name column uh, and in the salary i have written the number which will ensure that the only number can come in the uh, your salary column in the in front of the date i have written date which will ensure that only date can come in the date of birth column so guys this is what the what is the data uh, data type and why we use the data type and where we use the data type now let's see what all the types of data type available in the oracle database screen i have classified the data type into six category the first one which is your number the second one which is your character or i can say the string the next one is your long the next one is your date the next one is your raw and then next one is your row id now again uh, character or string divide into multiple or i can the, i can say that i can classify the character into uh, multiple data type which is your character where care to and where care and n where care to and n care where care to so this is the classification of the uh, character data type now uh, your raw again classified into three categories which is your n c log uh, c log and block now let's understand all this uh, data type when we use okay so as the number let's me let me start with the number the as the name indicate the number i have as i have already explained the number will allow or i can say the number when we use when we want to impose the rule on particular column saying that only the number can allow so at that time we use the number data type now moving on to the next data type which is your string or i can say char this data type again divided into multiple data types which is your char where char to where char and where char to and and char where char to from this five data types only two data types are important which is your char and where char to one is uh, few for future use which is your where care now the last two one which is your and care where care to and and where care to these are like uh, not for the general purpose use and in my life i never ever used this uh, data type okay so we won't discuss much on this and if you want this uh, discussion and if you want video on this and then please let me know in the comment box i will uh, create separate video for that okay now let me come back to the my two data type which is your care and where care two so when we use the care and when we use the where care two how we decide so guys ask yourself or if you know my string size is fixed and my string size is not more than 2000 byte 
then I will go for the uh, care data type which uh, now you can say that can you give me example yes I can give you the example which is your gender gender is a one column in the data type okay uh, in your table there is one gender uh, column in the your uh, table then you will go for the care because why in this always all always we know that okay the gender is fixed size which is either it can be male or it can be female correct not more than that the data can be possible in this column so we always and always go for the care now in this also we know it won't exceed from the 2000 byte so we will definitely go for the care now moving on to the next data type which is your where care true so when we do not know the uh, our string size or string uh, length then we go for the uh, where care to when the our string size uh, I know I cannot say with string size when our string size is variable length we do not know how much big it is then we go for the uh, where care to and it cannot go like uh, anything or 2 GB or 3 GB it can only hold the maximum 4000 byte so in short when we know our string size is not more than 4000 byte and when we know that our string size is variable length then we go for the uh, where cat 2 now you can question that instead of care i can use the where cat 2 also so guys in the internal oracle engine um, uh, where care 2 is not suitable for when the uh, our string size is fixed now you can say that why why it is not suitable can you give me ex explanation because when it process uh, the where care 2 data type so it will involve so many processes and it will calculate and a lot many com complexity uh, will be there but when we know our uh, uh, string size is fixed then few processes are reduced so from the performance point of view uh, we should use the care when we know the uh, our uh, string size is fixed and it cannot go for the more than 2000 byte so that's why we use the care when we know the uh, our string size is fixed and it cannot go for the uh, more than the uh, 2000 byte so at the time we use the care <clears throat> so i hope guys you have understood when we use the uh, care and when we use the where care to in short in summary when when we know our string size is fixed and it cannot go for the more than 2000 byte then we use the care and when we know our string size is variable length and it uh, it can go up to 4000 byte then we go for the where care true now moving on to the next one which is your long now you can say that what is a long now long is nothing but it's a mix of number and character so what is the speciality or what is when we use exactly so when we want to store around 2 gb of data or 2 gb of string in the uh, row or in that column then we use the uh, long and what is the property of the uh, long long's property is it can hold the 2 gb of data of a particular column of a particular row of a particular cell okay in that we can hold the 2 gb of data now second is uh, your uh, it can contain the both number as well as the character so it's not separate so this is what the long now moving on to the next one which is your date the name itself indicate that the this uh, data type allows only the date or I can say in other words if I want to impose the rule on particular column saying that uh, only date can come in particular column then we use the date it's, it's a very straightforward whenever we have uh, such a kind of column which contains the date then at that time straightforward use the date okay again it can be the combination of the date and time or i can say that only the date so depending upon the situation we will use okay now moving on to the next one which is your raw okay now raw again classified into uh, 
three categories which is your nc log uh, blob and c log so when we use all this uh, data type or i can say the raw data type so raw data type when we use when we have the uh, raw uh, kind of information just like for example if you want to store the photo or if you want to store the binary file or if you want to store the text file at that time use the raw data type okay guys now moving on to the next one which is your row id now row id now you can say that what is row id data type so guys row id i will explain in detail when we are comfortable with the sql statement and table structure and all these things right now this is not the right time to explain but in short what i can say that in one line row id is nothing but its identification of the particular row whenever we create any row we uh, oracle itself assign some uh, value to particular row so that we can identify that particular uh, row so that's why we use the row id and for that we have the one data type and guys this is the one uh, row id is one hidden column which will be always and always will be in the table when you uh, when you query the table uh, select a star from the employee table then all the columns will come and uh, let's say for example you have created with the five uh, column and when we you do, uh, do the select a star from the employee table then five column will come and if you add uh, the row id as well in the column star and comma row id then row id also will come however you haven't added but it is automatically added into that table and for that we should have the one data type so that is nothing but your row id data type so guys if you don't understand then don't worry we will discuss when we discuss the pseudo column so okay at that time we will discuss in detail what is row id data type okay guys so i hope you have understood what all the data types available in the oracle database so so this is all about the <clears throat> our data type and guys if you like the video then please hit the like button share it and if you want to get the regular update on my channel then don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you so much for watching for the video bye bye take care